Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a quick look at Cherish the Day. Uh, very nice song. The song is old and uh, it's actually gold because uh, it's a great song. It's very easy to play. Uh, it has likely one main chord progression. The rhythm is so straightforward, simply just one dance in every chord. So you got so many uh, nice reasons to learn the song. So uh, let's have a quick look at the song. Uh, I'll still not keep you up and uh, avoid the bar calls. Maybe I'll try to play a couple of bar calls because I do think at some point of time you have to learn how to play bar calls. So I won't be using a capo, but I'll still try to make the bar calls easier. And I'll show you that in a second. So the first chord shape it's a C minor, starting singing no capo by the way. So you take your index and you bar the entire third fret. So your thumb is over here, just basically both sides you're just pushing each other. Like you're not trying to touch your thumb and the index, uh, but the guitar comes in between. So that's what it should feel like. It should be squeezing it so hard. You got middle finger on B3, ring and pinky on D5 and G5. When we come to this chord shape, this is not a bar chord, it's basically your index finger on top string 6th fret, your middle finger on B string 6th fret, your pinky and ring on D and G 7th fret. The E string should be muted guys. And then you come to this chord shape, it's an A flat. I'll take my index, put it on the B string, 4th fret, middle finger on the G string, 5th fret, ring and pinky on A and D 6th fret and your thumb hitting on the top string, 4th fret. That's an A flat major chord. So if you can't put your thumb, maybe you can just mute the string, but don't hit that open. It sounds so bad, right? So mute it. If you can hit it, that's good. And then you have a G minor. Uh, you bar the entire third fret super hard, a fifth fret on A and D. And this is our chord progression. So we got C minor. A flat major 7, oops, B flat major 7, then A flat major, then G minor. Let's go, C minor. G minor. So just one down stroke. B flat major 7, A flat, G minor. Now, only for the chorus, Cherry the Day, uh, that specific four lines, we ha have the C, uh, just a minute, yeah, we have C minor, then it goes to uh, E flat major 7. So we got. Only for that chorus one, first four lines, uh, Cherry the Day, I won't go astray, it goes to a C minor, then it goes to a G minor. And then we have a E flat major 7. It's exactly like the B flat major 7, 7 chord, but I'll put it on the E string 4th fret, B string 4th fret, D and G 5th fret. So you take this shape, go a whole step down or two frets down. And then goes back to G minor. So the first four lines G minor, E flat major 7, back to G minor. And after that, it will be the same thing C minor. B flat major 7, A flat major, G minor. That's a whole song, no changes. And then we have this intro riff, and it also goes for the post chorus. I'm playing 15th fret on B string. Uh, you can play it a couple of times. I won't specifically uh, name the number of times you need to pluck it, but uh, you really need to feel the note. You won't be playing it flat and all. We don't want that, we really want this. So I have to be a bit shaky and a bit of a rattle. Then you go to 13th fret on B string. Same way, add a bit of feelings to it. And back to 15th fret. And then you go to a half step bend. So basically, trying to reach the 16th fret note, but I'm playing it on the B string 15th fret with a bend. I'll play it a couple of times. So we got one. 2, 3, 4, rest, 13 fret, 2, 3, 4, bend, back to repeat, it's 
just three notes. So that's a whole song guys, I hope it helped you out. Uh, for more easy and accurate lessons like this, make sure you subscribe and let me know what other song you want to learn. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Until then, I'm out. Bye.